Well, welcome all, and welcome, Mr. Barry Peatling, to the Barry Peatling Football Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe, and all my viewers around Australia, in the state, and then around the world. We're up to nearly 85,000. Nearly 85,000. Oh, nearly 84,000. Who would have thought of? Who would have thought of? Boy that? from Mary Street, Richmond. Yeah. He crawled out of the gutter onto the footpath. <laughs> onto the footpath. Not actually on the gutter, <laughs> I was in the gutter, yeah. Crawled out of the after he had a couple of drinks. And into the onto the footpath, and then yeah. crawl into someone's car for a snooze. <laughs> and finish up it, at Chelsea, yeah. And finish up at Chelsea. Now you went to see. Um, oh, you want to show us something from yesteryear? Yeah, I'll just show you a little cutting here from, cutting from, from, from way back. This is very. Well, that's not way back. That's oh no, make it for this is 2009. 2009. Yeah, I've seen a some of Murray Lewis and his chief hit a sports writer in the Women Mail Times spoke to me a few weeks, a few months ago, mm -hmm. and. I said, what about me uh, doing a team, my best team of the 60s? He said, well, come up, Barry, and we'll do an interview. Yeah. And uh, you can do, and that's what he done. He, that was a page of the following, on the following Friday that's come out. Yeah. And Barry picked, he picked his, picked his what? Picked his, uh, picked his best what? team of the 60s, and there's all the run down of all the players. There's a run down there. I know you can't read that, the viewers oh, out there, but. Yeah, uh, it's uh, talking about how. How good they were. All these teams there, the team of the 60, and um, Kerry Stokes is not on it. Kerry Stokes was an emer uh, emergency, I think. Uh, he's my very good friend, Kerry. He might have been, I'll tell him to ring him up, I'll ring him up tonight and tell him to watch this video. Because he's, he's been He might tonight. have been made that Barry picks his, late, his team of the late 60s. No, but he's, he's a very, he was a very good, he took my number when I left. Right. In the 60s. He, he's, he lives in Frankston. Yep. He's a, so there you go, and that was a, apparently, and I rang up Murray Lawson the following week and he said, Barry, we sold an extra 350 copies of there. There you go. So some people, tripled the readership. So there you go, that was a pretty good uh, headline, and, uh, and I, I, I give them all, all the players a rundown how good they were yeah, and how I good think they were. I think a previous video where you elaborate a little bit more. Yeah, that's yeah. right, I, I did do that. So there you go, that's, that's where all you ex Wimber players. Something I, to have a look at. Tell you what, just read the back line. The back line up there, Colin. The back line is Dan Daryl Howland. Daryl Howland, yeah. Mark Woodward. Walt Neville, yeah. Yeah, Woodward. And the back pocket. Jim Pierce. Jimmy Pierce, very good. And the forward line, full uh, forward line. Uh, Charlie Tilly, Ian Morgan, Robert Dunlop. Yeah, that was the, and the first rack. For, there we are, over here, the first rack. I was in, I was first. I was picked first. John rack. Ryan. Graham Gross, no, Colin right. Wilson, no. Oh, that was a emergency, yeah, but there Harry you go. Peatling, vice captain. Vice captain, yeah, that's what yes. I was. There you go. And Nick Simon was captain. There yeah. you go, Lewis. Now, let's, let's talk about the game that you went to. This is the um, semi final Bomb Beach and Pines game, Barry, on the weekend. A very, very good game. Compared to what I said about the last two, yeah. last week, those yeah. two games, yes. these were up to, up to scratch. Yeah, so a better game. Where's me? Pass over my glass there, Colin. Which one is about four centimetres? Very about. materialistic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so. Some glasses they are. So, um, b b b b Bomb Beach and Pines, good game. What was your thought? extra thoughts on the game? Barry? I thought it was a very good, e even sort of a game. Uh, high standard. A very high standard. I'll give you the half. I'll give you the quarter card, I'll give you the half time. Half time, time, time. Half time Pines were 5 5 to Bomb Beach, 8 5, which is a very big surprise. Very Everybody big. thought. Pines are going to wipe them off the map. And, but full time was Pines 9.13 yes. to Bond Beach 11.10. A so very good win. Bond Beach won just seven points. Yeah, it was a very close game and it was a packed ground. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic around. Everywhere. The place. I, I popped in, I was drove past about three o'clock and um, waving, I was waving like the Queen sort of thing. Oh, yeah, um, give me a wave, would you? And um, there were signs and there was people everywhere and balloons and... All sorts of things. So now, you want the main goal kickers? Main goal kickers, Barry. From Bond Beach with McDonald, four. I'll tell you something about him very yep. shortly. Yep. Hewitt, three. And for Pines, Bonaghetti, two. I'll tell you something about him in a minute, too. I cannot believe what happened. And all the rest were single goal kickers. But uh, getting back to McDonald, mm -hmm. the headline, I'll tell you what it is. Read the headline. That's what's going to be the headline. Shane McDonald, brilliant, and Bond Beach went over Pines. He was. That was put very mildly. He was the instigator of everything. But, uh, and I cannot believe Bonaghetti, I had Bonaghetti, their star player. Who, on the bench. Who, who, no, Tagan. Tagan, one of the Bond Beach fellas. What's wrong with these coaches? I mean, I he's, their, he's their match winner. He was a fellow who was playing last week and his number wasn't it. He's captain. Yeah. He, and, and he was, was Tagan last week. Yeah. 
But anyway, he got two goals and the rest were single goal kickers. Yep. So best players, Barry. Best player for Bond Beach, McDonald. Oh, look, he is, I'll tell you something, I'll give you, I'll give you a nice rundown about him very shortly. Owen Hewlett, he can play and can, 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 can kick a goal. Dylan Jones, the number one ruck, but he's about six foot nine and he killed him in a ruck. Tommy Hogan, he can play. Gabriel Vasala and Bia Bo Bailey. That was a song, Bo Bailey, Bo Bailey, wasn't it? Bo Bailey. Bo Bailey, Bill, yeah. Bill he can Bailey. play too. Bill Bailey. Yeah. And for Pines, this fella was their best player last week too, Nick Buzzley, he's a bit dark. Uh oh. Yeah, dark, you don't like the dark. You don't like the dark. I like. I don't like no, the white right. or dark, but he, he can. Number thirty-one and Paul Scanlon. He, he was. He's a star, the fella. He, he's going to be a player for future because he's only been there a couple of years. And Bo Henry, one of the Henrys, of course. Bonnie Getty. I put him in there, but he could have kicked a couple of goals. Okay. So you want a highlight? Well, give us the highlights package. The highlight. There's only one big highlight. Oh, yeah. really? Shane McDonald's four. Inspirational goals lifted the side. They were all, 50, all over 50 metres, Colin. I cannot believe this fellow. When he gets the ball from centre, he takes two or three bounces and bang! You can hear the ball. His boot hit the ball. Yeah. Post high. Kicks, Three, he kicks the air out of the ball. Four goals and they were all over 50, 50 metres. And he is, uh, he made up for his little game last week, which mm. wasn't too fast. Bit of a I was talking to him before the game and after the game. I, yeah, yeah, I did yeah. mention last week. No. But, uh, you didn't want to put a I negative said, on said, it. Pardon? Didn't want to spin the negative on well, it. Well, you don't give them, give them negative thoughts. Negative that's right. Like last week, are you? But from the jump, yeah. he just from the get go, from the start of the game, he uh, he is. I've got it written in it. He is a man, Colin. If you uh, stop him, you stop it. You stop Bomb Beach. But you do. You're on Bomb Beach now. Yep. Oh, I'm going to follow him right through now. No, and, uh, on on board, I think I beat. I beat the yes. <laughs> So give us the votes then, one vote. One vote to Owen Hewlett. One vote to Three Owen Hewlett. Three goals for him. He, he, kicked, he, he played a very good, he's a good half forward flanker. Dylan Jones rucked well all day, won the ruck deals. Two two votes? Two votes for Dylan, yeah. Okay, I was meant to say two votes and then you meant to say the name. Oh, that's right, yeah, get, we'll start again. Yeah, two votes. Dylan Jones. Very good. Three votes. S. McDonald, number seven. He blitzed it to Outstanding, me. I'll tell you what, he is, talk about, it's the only reason I go and watch the main ladies file, there's, there's good players, and especially him. I mean, he is it's an entertainer. Yeah. One of the goals he got in the third quarter, the tap out comes out, he got about, had about two bounces before he got it, and he took one or two steps, and I reckon he'd be nearly 16 metres out from God. Post icon. Bang! You, you can, I can feel him kicking at football. Wow. Kick you are a superstar. I tell you, tell you after the game, Colin, I said, you are a superstar. Check Keep out the video, Barry Peatley, YouTube.com oh, yeah, forward slash Barry Peatley. I think he knows all about the... Uh, www.youtube.com well, well, <laughs> forward slash Barry Peatley. Check it out. He would have he watched that last week's video. Yeah, Because I, I give him a bit, of a, a, bit of a, you know, a bit of a bump up to get, get yourself organised. You'd be probably responsible for him this week. Well, Single-handedly. Look, look, some players need a bit of uh, the old uh, jack up the salmon and uh, yeah. let's stir him up. But, uh, a jack up the salmon look, next, it, next week, Barry. Well, we're just talking before we come in here. I think Bon Beach will be playing EDS because they got beaten by Weiss's W yesterday. Yeah. And Weiss's W won't be playing and Pines is out. Yeah. Who else is in the finals? Weiss's W. Who was on top? There was Weiss's W. Weiss's W, Pines. Bond Beach, Edifile, Edifile. Those are the three teams. Ones. Those are the three teams because they've got a, they've got the grand final in two weeks. In two weeks' time, there's only a top five in, the, in this competition, mm. isn't there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now the the higher ranked ones, the semi-final, Frankston and EDS. Um, and uh, so yeah, there we go. So next week, that's at Frankston Park, and you'll be there. I'll be there with and, uh, bells on. Look, it's a very good ground to watch and play. It's got the best, nearly as good a surface as the Chelsea football ground. But that's why Chelsea football ground. And I reckon Chelsea's going to get through two or three games next year. Yeah, okay. Finals. Well, because they, they, they were very quite pleased about how the crowd and how it was yeah. running. Well, it may be if they actually get into the finals. That might help too. Well, you won't, they won't be able to do, you'll have to go and play Frankston Park, so you can't have a home game unless you finish in the top. Right. Top two. You know, we can play at Chelsea, but if you finish in the not in the top two, you can't have the home game. That's a too much of an advantage. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's down the track. Yeah. But it was a very good crowd, and I was glad I, I told you it would be a top game. 
So that's next week. Yeah. And um, so any Cheerios, Barry? Cheerios are my little darling Ning. She's going all right. She, um, she has a few problems every now and then. But, uh, a few issues. You have, have a, hope you enjoy this little video. I'll tell her to watch it a couple of nights ago. She's a... Uh, uh, of course, P8s, give me a call. P8s, I said to message yes. last week, he's going to... He's gonna, he's gonna, Stop I think he's, blocking. No, no, he's not blocking. <laughs> he's, uh, he might have a bit of trouble with his, with his phone, I hope not, but uh, give us a call, P8s, and we'll have a chat because uh, I'll tell you all about what's going on, on down here and what, what's got, happening around Chelsea because it's very, getting very exciting. Give you the updates. And, of course, who else is on the is there? You settled into your new place all right, Barry? Uh, yeah, I like my little house now. Yeah, he's all settled in. Liked it now, but it took a while. Took a while. But uh, yeah, he's all settled in. He's got the walls. Coming. He's got the stereos. Well, this, the man behind the voice that you're talking yeah. now, he, he's got me organised. He's got these. It's all set like, up. Got to get a new. Just got a, another stereo. Yeah, get a blaster. He's going to fix that up very shortly. Fix it got, right up. Can you can you can you, can you use him speakers here or not? Maybe those are they are triple treat speakers, so I don't know what the difference is. Is it? Those speakers are not bad. The one over there. Yeah. It should be alright. Yeah. But uh, who else do I send a cheerio to, Colin? Jan, Jan will like a cheerio with you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go, Jan. Yes. You're, you're going right too. But oh, no, that game of. Uh, I was expecting him, Mr. Number 7, McDonald, to uh, just take a big turn around from last week's game because it, that's the first time I've ever seen him play an ordinary game last week. Yeah. Okay, he did turn it around. So next week he's got another opportunity to kick it in. So well done, Sis Macca, Macca, Shane Macca, and uh, as they call him. And because uh, Gary Carvey, uh, Gary Carton, Car Gary, you he wasn't in the game too much. He's vice captain, Gary. Yeah. Uh, Gary Carpenter, that's Sammy Carpenter's brother, superstar with one arm. Yeah, yeah. He's vice captain. So you got to smarten up next week, guys, and put in. Because I think they'll be playing, I'm pretty sure you'll be playing EDS. Yes. Yeah. Alright. So that's all for me today. And that's goodbye from me. So it's goodbye from me and see you all next week. Bye bye.